So I've talked about two major powers in the war, but now I'm going to talk today about one of the most secretive powers of World War II. Purely because this nation relied on secrecy to get all its operations done. And these are the British weapons. Now, Britain didn't have many weapons during World War II. In fact, I could hardly find any that were very significant. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. So, let's get started with the most famous rifle in British history. The Lee Enfield No. 4. Now, this was an evolution of the short magazine Lee Enfield Mark III. It had a 10 round internal magazine and it was a bolt action rifle. All in all, these rifles were impeccable. Like, I have seen many videos on them, many different tests on them. They have not faltered once, apart from the bolt being a bit hard to shut. But I will explain more about the short magazine Lee Enfield Mark III in my series on World War I. But the number four basically involved the evolved the receiver so that it had a proper ring sight on it and well it didn't really do much else. So let's move on to light machine guns, which Britain is famously unfamous for. So first we got the all popular Lewis gun. Now, the Lewis gun has a 37 round pan mag on top. Yes, it's a pan mag, not a drum mag. And it has a quite slow fire rate, but it's steady. It's about 400, 500 rounds a minute. It's not bad. It's really reliable. It was used during the Great War. All conflicts in between the two wars, World War II and beyond. It can even still be used today in minor countries. Now, I said that about a lot of weapons, but it's really true. So, Britain's other light machine gun, which is very notorious, is the Bren gun. Now, the Bren gun had a 30 round magazine, a very slow rate of fire, but the magazine was on top of the, of the gun. Not underneath, like every other gun, on top, which obstructed vision massively. What also didn't help is it had quite a fair bit of kick. So, Britain's answer to a new LMG basically copied the Madsen. So, now onto submachine guns, and we have the $10 submachine gun, also known as the Sten gun. Now, these can be seen used all the way from World War II up to today. I'm just saying that now. But it was really cheap to make. It was really good if you kept it maintained, but if you cleaned it like once every three days, you're going to have issues. The bolt's going to stick, the receiver's going to jam, the feeding system might not even work. It was a gun that was just slapped together in an old factory and said, that'll do, basically. Now, there is one sidearm that really brings out to the table British engineering, and that is the Webley Mark IV revolver. Now, this, this revolver is kind of special because... It has a six round open break receiver, which makes it easy to reload. Pretty decent rate of fire, but it was admired by so many officers that it just gained a brilliant reputation. So, that was sure, I know, but. They are the British weapon, the main British weapons of World War II. Let me know what you think about the British weapons in the comments below. 
and I shall see you on Sunday for the biggest invasion ever made.